Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I thought I'd come on and just do another, hopefully, five minute mojo buster. Um, I have just, I've nearly finished uh, my latest and journal. And I wanted something just to put a little bit of decoration on some of the, my inside panels. So I made my own labels, just you can see that one there. And I've also put another one here on a tag just there. Um, so these are to make your own to put into your own journals when you're junk journaling or just you know making a journal or what have you. I'll I will come back on and show you this journal that I've nearly finished making. So I kind of like got on a roll and just made up a few of a few more labels um, that I can just have on hand for when I want to add them to another project. And I just really made these out of just scrap bits of paper, just like these ones here. Um, I did have a lot of these strips left over. Um, from that project and just some other bits and pieces um, with with that la with that journal I just showed you I actually done some use some of my jelly prints and that's a good thing to back your your plain label onto or you can back it onto just some paper from a textbook something that's got like a bit of color on it down here so I just thought I'd show you how easy it is to make this strip here um, I might put my put the timer on okay and um, I'm just going to leave my ruler down there just so that I can roughly cut the length that I want them so I've got my clock on just for five minutes to see how I go and see how many I can make um, you'll need some glue and I just think I better get out another glue just in case um, I run out of this one because this one's getting pretty low okay so you need you need some strips of paper this one here is a thin cardboard that one there is from an index card this here is just coffee dyed paper um, that's just from a a printable so you need some strips any size strips you want and you need something to back it on so I've got just a couple of leftover jelly prints as well as some textbook paper down here okay and you'll need some scissors of course so I'm going to just start my timer and see how I go for five minutes so these ones here I'm going to cut roughly about an inch just to make them a bit smaller. So it's an inch in length and about a half an inch in width but you can cut them any size you want. So I'm just going along here and just cutting a few. And just for the edges um, I just went and just snipped off the edge. I didn't measure anything. I just kind of like eyeballed it. So I'm just snipping off the edges just to make it look a little bit more decorative. I did make these oh, a few years ago and I actually printed some labels on the weekend and then put them in a safe place and couldn't find them and then when I wanted one for the journal that I've just made I I thought oh look I'll just make some okay so I've got a few strips there um, I might use I might use this one here a bit of lined paper so I'm just going to cut it at the height that I want and just snip that there 
they can be any size that you like. Okay, so I am going to just give mine a bit of an ink around like that. Just it just defines the edge for me on that on the labels. And I did do these ones a uh, smaller. Um, on purpose because I wanted to put just a few little ones inside the journal that um, I can pop into a pocket so I can add them to the journal when I start using it. Okay, so, and I might do this one here too, a bit bigger. And now I'm just going to back them onto some paper. So with these little ones here, I'm just going to put a bit of glue on the back of them and just stick them down onto my decorative paper, just like that. And I might actually put some over here. Just to get the darker background. Just like that. And this one put over here. And you can also use, you know, your your scrap pieces from um, from your decorative papers. So then all you have to do is just cut a very thin border or edge around the the, the top label that you stuck down just so that you've got a nice decorative border and see there's the first one done you cut like I suppose about an eighth of an inch they're so easy to make and they look really lovely um, to decorate your journals with and you can also like when you make your own and have a bit of the 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 colored paper around the edge you can um, okay stop that's five minutes all right <laughs> I put it on timer instead of stopwatch but that's okay I'm just going to finish cutting these out just to show you okay that looks pretty cool with that black and white border around there. Just going to cut that off. And trim these ones off. And when you cut around you just follow your edges so you don't need a, um, a trimmer or anything. Yeah, like that. <clears throat> I 
Okay. And I think I've got one more to cut. So if you've got like a certain colour theme going in your journal, um, you know, you can make your own little labels to match your decorative papers in your journal. But that's it. That's how easy it is, guys. So, and there you have it. Move them up there. They're the labels that I just made. And you can go around, um, once you ink, oh, once you cut, you can also go around and just put a bit of ink around the outsides. But I think they look so cool. Okay, so there. That's it. Really easy. Okay, so that's all I've got now for today. But I thought I'd just come on. Um, mainly to show like all the the new junk journalers, what you can do with your, your scraps. And, you know, if you want to make some labels to coordinate with the papers that you're using in in your journal. That's what I've, I've left this this background here is a jelly print and the outside around here is just cut from a scrap piece of that jelly print. Um, the same with this one here. Okay, so that's it. Really easy. Enjoy. I'll catch you later. You all have a great day. Bye bye.